it's going to be an accelerant to Chinese economic development and growth. One of the big things is really the ability to get the physical AI, which is the robotics. And when we look at what the critical important area is, it's having the rare earths, it's having the battery technologies, it's having a, uh, a very, very low cost energy environment, and of course, a low cost manufacturing environment with the capacity. China has all those five factors, which means they could produce units um, probably at one fifth the cost of the US, which means in the future, having the labor, the labor shortages that are predicting with a population decline, um, a lot of that can be addressed through automation. The second piece is really the advancements in terms of what AI is able to do with decision automation, being able to make decisions more quickly, achieving decision velocity allows you to make faster decisions more accurately. And I think that helps with a lot of menial tasks and really in terms of policies, a lot of red tape uh, that frees up time for productivity and being able to work on more advanced, um, advanced issues and advanced intelligence areas. So taking the artificial intelligence and pairing with the human intelligence creates that kind of advantage. Uh, but I think the third thing, which is much more important, is, is really a relook as to you know what society is going to look like in a world with AI. And I think that changes everything. Uh, and that's where China has opportunities to get to efficiencies that it hasn't been able to hit uh, in the past. But it's the energy equation that's really important, that manufacturing equation and the robot supply chain. That's really where the advantages are sitting on the China side.